Our short visit to dead Moscow, the phantom of the past, is over. Pavel and I helped each other out again and are returning down to the metro as real partners now. You can't survive the wastelands any other way. But now ahead of us lies a populated station, the theater. It's very close to Polis. If Pavel manages to lead me through the red line guard posts, I'll be home in less than an hour. Okay, come on in. Sorry about that. Dangerous times, right? We're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? We were lucky to get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by the wrecked plane. Yeah, I wonder if it's such a bad thing today. Oh, you want a nightmare? Well, it's waiting for you up there. No sense going with just three men. Artyomich, so, if it's culture you want, the Bolshoi is up there above us. All the actors who survived are here. Well, people come from all over the metro to see the shows they put on. We've been in the wreck all our lives, and now... We're freaks? Uh, this happens all the time. But why? Why to us? So, that's our plan. The station next to this one is Revolution Square. One of us. Red. And Revolution is spitting distance to Poland. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through. And you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? Yes, we are. Great. Come in then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here. Everything is fine. I'll talk to my people and find you. Welcome. Have a good rest. But you do understand that we can't wait here forever. Look, I don't make the rules, okay? Bullets to the last surviving theatrical critic. Bullets for mercy on your souls. I disgust myself. Here we sit, we drink, party lights, when all around us radiation, death, decay, and endless war. Is it something new? But really, they're just dumping the dependents. Wow, that's a demon. So scary, just like the real thing. A demon. Look at it, It's a So, Nikitish, when do we become your father? Have you got enough money to last a week? Two days, maybe. Then my life is over. And it took so long to save up. Oh well. Good riddance. At least I had some fun in the end. What? You give up already? Yeah, that's stopping the power of the mall. Simply the aids. Look, well, good I got luck. Money for You're days. always welcome here. Drinks are on me. Incendiary grenades! Guaranteed to keep the Solar regular solid smoke. So uh, Lord. Roast bacon. It can't hit things from afar, but it sure is deadly at close fight. Indispensable for self-defense. Can't find anything better against monsters. A twin barrel blast into the snout is a winner. Buy this and gain instant respect. This is one respectable item. Are you sure? There's no refund policy over here, you know. Twin barrels are great as they are, but you can add two more and get a veritable hand cannon. 
Look, think this over, really. Bullets, bullets, purchase, exchange, sale. The bastard overheats like hell, but luckily you can fix this with radiator. It's not a beauty contest winner, but it can use military grade ammo. Bullets and other stuff. Best prices around, I promise. Well, feel free to drop by. Rusty, trash, tastes like heaven. Self-defense is everyone's right. Protect yourself by a gun. Ammo and gear for sale. Bullets exchange. And you'll never have to fear bandits anymore. Well, now you can show them. Bullets, bullets, purchase, exchange, sale. Stuff. Best prices around, I promise. Well, happy self defense. Fish, fresh fish from Venice. Fish, come again. Dried, salted. Leather, best leather goods. Original designs, low prices. Perfect self-defense weapons. Shrooms. This great is shrooms. great stuff. Can't find the best you'll find anywhere. Well, Artyom, I made all the arrangements. We can go to the revolution now. They will let us in through the theater. Come on, I just can't hit every moment. But you are entirely different. Hey, you! Stop! Show me your tickets! Did you hear? Oh, sure. Come in. Well, Stanislavski, you can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing room. Maestro, if you'd be so kind. The captain. before I feel sorry for the other performance now their attempts at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle but <laughs> I trust they will handle the race far of our expectations and thus our incredible show continues this man spits in the eye of danger challenges nature defies the god of his new world and proof once again that humanity is a master of all. 
A warm welcome for Yanid Burli, our animal trainer extraordinaire, with his, uh, terror of our city. Impressive victory as human intelligence triumphs over the mutants. Speaking of mutants, even our station has heard the rumors of new species that were encountered at exhibition. Fearsome beasts, black as midnight, invincible, able to induce madness in anyone who saw them. But even those were no match for human ingenuity. The guys at exhibition had noticed they were brewing the wrong mushrooms. <laughs> And they went back to the traditional recipe. The new mutants were gone like morning dew. <laughs> Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition! And tonight's show goes on. It is time to bring a lyrical mood to our show. We give you the genius of chamber music. The famous accordion player, Kolya Pajarny, with his masterpiece, My Heart Reaches for the Sky, but hits the ceiling and falls down the bottom. A round of applause, please! But soul will never sound the same. Your music is such streams with so much power. And thus, our incredible show continues. Today, I have the honor of presenting to you the hottest, the most explosive act this side of Atlantic Ocean. The most scorching spectacle of today. Our fire show! A round of applause to welcome the performers. Please! Please! Blowing, incredible, simply incredible. If a tiny bit too hot, just a couple of degrees higher, and 
ai picciotti. Thank you, dear friends. Thank you. But I must say that however hot that was, the girls were a bit hotter still. <laughs> Guys, you've got to answer the challenge. Try using a flamethrower, perhaps. <laughs> and yet we have more, dear audience. Please welcome the Arpeggio Virtuoso, the God of Legato, and Demon of Tremolo. The favorite student of Mel Bay and Vladimir Manilov, the premier guitarist of the New Age, Victor Minchuk, with his fantasies. Please welcome our Virtuoso. <laughs> and my heart would ignite, my legs would start dancing, and my soul would go straight to wherever it's heading to. Thank you, Victor. Ladies and gentlemen, I must announce a change in today's program. To our sincere regret, our visiting magician ran out of ladies for his sawmill act. <laughs> but never fear. We have filled the gap with greatness. Your complete attention, please, as I present the birth of a legend. The Minchuk and Pajarni duet with their instrumental impromptu, the Song of Songs. A round of applause to cheer our great musicians on. <laughs> innovation of the century. Incredible. Completely incredible. My left ear is still ringing. <laughs> You've just heard the virtuosos of the Moscow underground. The duo known as Minchuk and Pozarny. Our dear audience. This sad moment always comes, no matter how often we wish it would not. But our show for today is over. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have enjoyed your company. Thank you, and please come again. Maestro, give us something emotional. Goodbye. Farewell. Parting is such sweet. <laughs> Artyom, no? Enjoy the show? Sorry, man. Time to move on, you patron of the art. Oh, Pavel Igorovich. So glad to see you. Where have you been? You don't like us anymore. 
Helen, no, что? I'm, I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Jana, let me use your powder. In your dreams, you have your own. Use that. It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? Her boyfriend is cheap, that's why. Artyom? No. Artyom? Looks like you're a bit woman hungry, huh? Well, yes, yes, it's a hard life without a soft woman. Repair to refugees again. More refugees. What's going on? What else? Another war. Looks like the fucking commies are going to fight the Reich again. Shit. Is war all they know? Instead of wasting ammo on each other, they could be wiping out the world. Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we are still alive. Huh? It's on me, okay? Here you are. Two of our specials from the old stock. Been infusing it for half a year. Opa! That's great! So, let's drink it to him! There you are. Phew! Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but... Uh, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro, and people talk all kinds of shit about the Red Line. That it's awful there, there's no food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Here it is. Wow. So, <clears throat> yes, our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter. No rich men, true. But no beggars either. Another drink. And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. No, 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 pay that now. Ooh, хорошо прошла. Ah, uh, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, look, look at the far stations. They freaking eat each other. Sell their kids as slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Left to his own devices, a man becomes a beast, you know? Or there, or there is all that matters. That's, that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. Блин. Кого? Артём, кого? Вот он за. Вот он за. So, my friend. That's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back, Comrade Major. It is, Private. That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, Just you wait. I will get even. I wonder, though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? Move it! Hey, stop that! It's just being over-enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. We, the people of the Red Line, have Good day, sir. Good day, sir. At ease, товарищ. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General here? What about Comrade Korman? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Look, Artyom, you're a smart guy, so you understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need information. So, my advice to you, my friend, cooperate. Okay? 
But don't worry, I got you back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one, and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us, too. Good day, Comrade General. Comrade Morozov, I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbett. This stranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence. He's Nitsky, or one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since official enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the... Comrade to the negotiation room. Young man, let's dispense with the introductory probing and cut to the chase, hmm? This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark Bomb, is of extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. <laughs> but, as my spy, an operative, just like those uh, musketeers, one for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin, Corbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lunia must start learning how to improve his uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, we were... Yeah, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster. And more effective. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six! <laughs> <There's> <laughs> fuck! Still nothing, huh? <laughs> okay, bitch! You talk, or I'll fry your balls in pig fat! Passwords, code names, operation protocols! What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonia. Interrogation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No! You little shit! There's no power without blood! There is! Your brother ruled peacefully, and they still love him! Get back here! You're a thug! God damn it! Butcher. All right. Use your drugs. Use hot pokers! Just get everything out of him, and shoot the bastard! And then come to my office. We must talk. Come back here! You may be my son. Oh, I must agree with Leonid. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything. I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? 
Completely, sir. And uh, what about the dark one? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Fuck Corbett! Fuck my father! And Morozov! And the revolution and my own future! I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother! Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live! Here! Get in there! This is the way to freedom. Believe me, I know. <laughs> I spent all my childhood hiding from my father in those vents. Well, good luck to you! will be exterminated, and war is inevitable anyway. Inevitable? I have my doubts. So does the Politburo. A doubtful man is a fearful man. How dare you? You're the head of state security, and you report to me! Yes, but now, when we are one step away from a unified Red Metro, you have no right to disrupt the plan. I have no right?! I'm... Moscovin, when you asked me how to deal with your elder brother when he was still the Secretary General, I helped you. And after his tragic death, I bucked your takeover. So I suggest you take my advice again. This is unacceptable. It's very simple, Comrade Moskvin. We all stand together, arms linked against the wind. For it's every man for himself. But, Corbett, is this whole fucking metal truly worth the blood we're going to spill? I have a way of doing it without spilling any blood. No blood, you say? All right. Go do your trick. I'll handle the Politburo. Cuss. One of these days. A frontal assault is hopeless. But if we go underground in the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. 